Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to go over how I follow a creek channel and how I follow a roadbed using only my side scan to see stumps, fish, or ledges, or anything on those uh, creek channels or those roadbeds. So hey guys, you stay with me and hope you enjoy the video. What is happening people? Hey guys, uh, today we're going to look at how to use your side scan to see road beds, the top of road beds and how they relate to the bottom and how to follow a creek channel to spot stumps, trees, fish or whatever uh, on those two structures. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, it, may not, it may not necessarily be the way you do it, but this is kind of how I've learned and I'm going to share that today. And uh, so I'm going to use my Garmin uh, 93SV touchscreen, and uh, today's a great day to do it, just because it's cloudy and I don't have that glare. So I uh, just got to the lake, so I'm not going to fish just yet. So I want to go over and show you how I do this. We got some background noise; they're working on a house up here, but I think you can hear me. I'm going to use my GoPro here and uh, get up a close shot. I'm going to follow the contours of those bottoms really quickly and show you how I find those. Guys, I appreciate all the support I've been getting for this channel. Don't forget to share this channel with someone. Click that like button. Hit that notification bell. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate uh, all the subscribers we've been getting for this channel. Hey, guys. Stay with us. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, I got this set on 300 feet, so I can see your creek channel. Now, your creek channel is not necessarily going to be exact like it shows on the garment, but if you ride across it and find it, as soon as you go across it, you'll stop back the boat up and begin there then you can see it on your down scale. so I'm gonna start start I'm gonna find it with my boat here I'm sitting right over top of it and I'm gonna actually go this way down the creek channel and I'm gonna show you that here in the distance you can't hardly see it but there's a long narrow point there a shallow point here and that equates to this. I'm going to follow this point around and see this dog leg here? I'm going to follow it till I get to that dog leg here. At this point, I ran across and went from about 20 to 19 down to about 28 feet. Not all creek channels are going to be wide. Some are going to be shallow wide or vice versa. And, uh, but anyway, I want to get right in that creek channel and I want to just move the boat along following the creek channel. I'm going to show you how you can see it on side scan. So quickly, uh, let's see if we can spot this so you can see this see this ridge right here that is the top of the creek channel now let's spread this on out let's see sometimes I've got my side scan set on 150 feet and we're going to use the side scan from now on just to follow this creek channel and I want you to notice now this creek channel begins to turn here. This is the edge of the creek channel. It begins to turn. Now I'm gonna follow my boat. I'm gonna turn my boat as that creek channel turns. And I'm gonna try to keep the boat in the middle of the creek channel. And I may crisscross it from time to time, back and forth. Uh, but for the most part, I wanna try to stay pretty close to the center so I can look at the sides of the creek channel. And when we get to a point the creek channel is steeper, I'll point that out. So as you can see, this darker area here, that is on top of the creek channel here. Now see how the creek channel is beginning to sweep back to my left? And there is a probably a stump. See how the creek channel is sweeping back to my left? So I'm going to just turn my boat left as the creek channel is sweeping back. looks 
like there are there's a school of shad to the left here on the bottom looks like the Queen Creek Channel now see this line here that is a steeper bank see how it it blows out to the left all right and here's a good indicator this is a creek channel See how I'm crossing over top of the creek channel itself. See the creek channel going here? It made a little bit of a turn. There is a stump sitting on the side of that one. Now real quick, I'm gonna bump this back. Boom, it shows you I'm still pretty close to the creek channel get back to side scan and this thing is going to make a hard dog leg down here in just a few minutes and I'm going to try to find that dog leg and it looks like it's turning out to the left you can see these ridges here let's shift back here you can see the creek channel shift back. See, that is actually the creek channel there. I got out of it. You can see the defined, looks like a road. All right, so I'm gonna just keep my head and instead of turning hard, see the creek channel's gonna, I'm coming, I missed the curve of it. So you can see that is probably a fish there. That's some stumps on the edge. I need to turn back quickly so I can stay in it. See, I'm off of it. I'm to the left. See, that's a steeper side there. See how steep that side is? There's some stumps right there on top of it. And see, I'm running out of the creek channel now, but that's okay. I can still see it with that side scan, and I can see how it turns. Now, if I see something, I should have been marking spots. If I see something I want to mark, like a big stump on the bottom, uh, there's a prime example see this stump right here that's sticking way up off the bottom and I'm gonna mark that I like that that right on there mark it boom okay and so here's another spot here so that could be a brush pile you can see the creek channel begins to turn here again So just real quick, let's recap that. If you get off the creek channel, hey, it ain't no big deal. Just switch back over to your lake maps, turn around and start over. Uh, it, it may take you a little bit of practice. I learned to do this last fall. I got on the lake and I spent right at six or six and a half hours just riding around with my electronics, practicing and looking. And uh, so that's just one way that if you come to a lake and you don't know it, you know where the creek channel is, get on the creek channel and follow it. And many times people will sink brush in those dog legs on those ledges over creek channel. It's a great place uh, to put brush, especially in that 30 to 20 foot depth range. Uh, so that's one more thing you can add to your arsenal as a fisherman when you come and follow those creek channels. So to recap, we use the boat and our electronics to find the creek channel. I always like to go at a 90 degree angle across the creek channel and actually mark it instead of getting close to it and with the side scan. So once I see it go from 18 and then it drops down to like 25 feet and then back up, well, that tells me that is the creek channel. I'll back the boat up and then I'll start my side scan and run it for whatever distance I want to run it and just kind of look at that contour. And it gives me a mental picture of actually what's on the bottom there. So, real quick now, I'm gonna have to move. It's gonna take me a few minutes. We're gonna go over to the road bed and we're gonna ride the top of the road bed and I'm gonna show you what that looks like on side scan. So, stay with us. Be okay. Um, I'm gonna do this basically the same way. Now, I found this road bed, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago by accident, just going over it with and, and saw how the bottom came up. And then when I looked at the map, I noticed there was an old dirt road that came in uh, on one side and went out the other and you can actually
actually see it and I'm going to show it to you on the map. Now this is not a hard surface road, this is an old dirt road and it actually has some old culverts still left under the water where the old road bed uh, went over. So real quick let's take the GoPro and let's look at uh, where we are. So you can see here is the old road. It shows it coming down to the water here. And you can see I have several places marked. You can see the old road bed coming here, crossing the lake, and going out here. So automatically that gives me a starting point and a stopping point. Okay, so we finally came on top of it. You can see the old road bed here. See how steep it is on this side here? So we finally got on top of it. You notice we're running right off the edge. So I'm going to go get right on top of it. But you see how steep the old uh, dirt road bed was and how it puts a shadow. So I'm going to try to keep this heading here. Now I can bump the boat. Uh, it looks like it's turning, turning, turning. get right on top of it you can see all this shadow line it's pretty steep so there's about a 10 foot drop there in that shadow line that looks like that is a uh, school of shad down there still following along the top and you can see when the shadow line gets in close underneath the boat, if you look at 17 feet of water, you can see we'll turn and we'll turn the boat, follow that, uh, follow that line back. And you can see we're getting shallower here, so the roadbed is not as defined. Uh, so how, you notice how I weaved, I weaved and back and forth. I went out at 94 feet just to look at this little bit more closely uh, so I'm still running looks like just to the left of the road bed there's the side here's the side here and I'm still staying on the top of it I see more shadow to the right or to the left and I just adjust my boat as I'm moving along now like all road beds like creek channels they're gonna make some turns. And you notice we have some form of a big shadow line coming up right here on the left. That dark spot in here is probably the old culverts, not sure. So we're still running about 14 feet on the top, on the top of this, and it's about 25 feet. So here comes the old culverts. Just so you know, I ain't lying about the uh, road bed. So right here on the left, that is the old culvert. That is where the water. Now you see, here's a creek channel right here. Boom. There's the old culvert. Exit on the culvert and the old creek channel right here. Very defined right here. Boom. And you can see they come off the bank. Right there is the bank. Boom. And uh, you can see a steep side right here and the creek channel. And it looked like I see a fish sitting right on top of it there. I hope that uh, that helps you. Now that I just followed that old road bed. Like I said earlier, I found this. Like I said earlier, I found this road bed a few years ago, and not till I have my upgraded electronics, I was able to actually see that road bed that defined. But you can use your electronics again to follow that road bed just like you do uh, a creek channel. Now on that one, unfortunately, we was able to see the creek channel and the uh, old road bed. Hey guys, I hope you've seen something in this video that you learned. I hope you've seen something in this video that you enjoyed. Hey, don't forget to share this video with someone that you know that likes fishing and uh, hunting uh, videos. And uh, hey, don't forget to subscribe that button. We appreciate all the support we've been getting for this channel. Hey guys, click the like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. You remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water.